And as we head into severe weather season, having your emergency kit fresh will be a big help. We have items like food, water, and of course, batteries that may help out. Just to name a few, the full list will be at WTOL.com. Once your kit is complete, store it in your safe spot. Meteorologist Diane Phillips shows us where that safe spot in your home is. Home. It's where we feel safe and protected. Though we feel comfortable when severe weather rolls in, do you know where your safe spot is? Whether you live in an apartment, manufactured home, or have a basement, there are different ways to stay safe from the storm. If your home has a basement, then that's the place to go when under a tornado warning. But if your home doesn't have a basement, then where do you go? It's really important to remember two things. So to get as low as you possibly can and to put as much as you can between you and the outside world. Erin Konecki from the Wood County Emergency Management Agency says there are two rules we must follow when a tornado is near. If you don't have a basement and that's not an option, make sure you're on the ground floor, or the lowest you can possibly be, and then the most interior that you can be. Just like a house, the lower you can go in an apartment, the better. When you're on an upper floor and you can't get away, again, seek shelter in the interior portion of the apartment, away from as many things that could break um, and debris as you can. This is also a really good place. There is a bathtub over here. Um, I would make sure if you were in that bathtub though, to make sure that you pulled the shower curtain as some sort of barrier. You can also grab the mattress off your bed if you were able to do so and use that as a secondary barrier to make sure that debris wouldn't hit you or anything like that. Closing the door. Ganecki encourages renters to make friends living on the ground level and ask your landlord about shelter options. If you live in a mobile home, it's especially important that you are plugged into the weather. If it's just a watch and there's some you know, whisperings of severe weather in the area later that day, make a plan. Um, reach out to neighbors, friends. If you must shelter in a mobile home, head to the center and cover your head and body. And also don't open up your windows. I know that that's a, <laughs> that's a myth, you know, you know, people say with the pressure, but it wastes time. And you're also violating one of the number one rules, right? So you don't want to be close to windows and then you don't want to take away a barrier. It might sound silly to do, but wearing even a bike helmet, putting on shoes, long pants, and a long coat could be, could be a good idea to protect yourself from flying debris. And advance notice is key to stay ahead of a storm. This is why we issue alert days for those times when the weather will impact your daily routine. You can get all the alert day information, plus have interactive radar, exclusive video forecasts, all on our free WTOL 11 weather app. Give that a download today.